Thanks a lot for tuning in to Self Mastery. I'm going to do a money spread today. It's come to my attention. A lot of people have been talking to me about money, how they're finding it, what, what's going on with their money in their current situation. Well, I designed a money spread, I'll call it. It's your current situation with money. It's the benefit of that money. It's money coming in, the opportunity for money, and the outcome. I've already shuffled my cards, and I'm going to cut them now. There's my clarifier deck. And we're going to cut this deck a lot. Um, I already did shuffle. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Jordan, I really love having you here. So your current situation with money, the benefit of money, money coming in, your opportunity with money, and the, uh, and the outcome. <laughs> well, with the outcome, I've been getting this a lot lately. It's the eight of pentacles. I have been getting that a lot lately. And um, I, I'm thinking that we're all learning how to navigate our finances, how, how we're navigating through life, finding things that can make us money. I hate the word side hustle, by the way, because a hustle to me just is, it's just a negative vibe. So we, we'll call it expanding our money base knowledge. How about that? So anyway, our current situation here, is the king of cups <laughs> well if you're here watching it you are in king of cups it's like you have uh your emotion over the money over this money situation you have to be master of it you can't let it overwhelm you you cannot let it wash you away now with the king of cups here um <clears throat> the, the what i'm getting is you have to rise above your current situation and the king of cups does rise above he rides on top of the water, doesn't get in, rides on top, looks over the whole entire thing, float above your scenario. How about that? Let's do that. The benefit, <laughs> the 10 of wands. Yeah. The benefit of your money situation is it's over with, you know, uh, it's, it's like I've had it. Uh, I'm starting a new beginning, a new ace of wands. So what I'm getting there is you're at, the, you're at the end of something. It's completed. Now you're ready to look for a new thing or you're starting a new thing. And that is your benefit. The benefit of this is being able to start over. So is money coming in with the Queen of Wands? Oh, it's coming in all right. And one thing I can tell you about with the Queen of Wands coming in is it's, it's going to come in very creative. It's going to come in very passionately. And what we're getting here with this Queen of Wands is I want you to start putting your energy with this Eight of Pentacles, putting your energy into something creative, into something you're passionate about. You understand? So that is money coming for you. The opportunity. It's the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands. Beautiful opportunity. It's stable. Um, it's going to come in. Now, again, when we, when we say this, when we see the four of wands, it's a celebratory element. It's um, with the four here. To me, it's it's in the walls. You know what I mean? It's in the walls. It could be from family. It could be from relatives. It could be in your inner circle where your money will be coming in. Okay. Four of wands here. Again, just think about your, think about your, uh, immediate circle when it comes to this. All right. So your current situation is uh, you have to be, you have to manage any stress with the King of Cups energy. And when the King of Cups energy, what I'm saying is you got to master it. You can't let it take you under. You cannot go under the water. You have to be a king about it. You have to control it. And also, too, with the king, you can delegate this. And what I mean by delegate is um, you can actually go to the universe and ask the universe for help. That's what kings do. Kings, do they ask for help or do they just delegate? I don't know. I, I believe that um, kings, I believe kings and the court or the people that support the king, they're there to help. So I want you to think about that. And we got the Queen of Swords. Yeah. So 
I like the I like the Queen of Swords when it's time for the uh, Eight of Coins too, because there's a learning element. But the Queen of Swords is also intellectually understand. I mean, intellectually can handle, can adapt to your situation. So here you go. Your current situation is we want you to be totally. I want you to be neutral. I want you not to panic. I want you not to flip out. And also, too, with the Queen of Swords, I want you to be intellectually adult about it, intellectually. Now, the Queen isn't as neutral as the King, in a sense, but the Queen makes things happen. She's the one that does delegate. The King suggests it, goes to the Queen. The Queen delegates it, goes to the Knights, goes to, you know, and, and so on. But with the Queen of Swords here, I want you to look in your in your kingdom, shall I say, and fi- and intellectually think and ab- think about this. Okay, intellectually think think about this in Queen Energy. It's tight. You got to be an adult about it. And we just said the knights. Remember, I just said the Queen of Swords tells the knight. Well, we just got the Knight of Swords, and that's putting that into action. That's beautiful. So your current situation is. Maintain a very neutral, a very sturdy, a very stable emotion about it. There's nothing you can do when you panic. Intellectually think about what's going on and delegate it or put it into action. That is your current situation. The benefit. We talked about the benefit. The benefit of all this is releasing some old baggage and starting anew with a new passion. And that's where the Queen of Wands comes over here. I like that. Universe, what benefits can we look forward to with this new attitude toward our money? And it's the hanged man, okay? So the benefit is to chill out. Again, the hanged man sits up, sits in that tree on purpose. It's time to really reflect on what's going on. Use your intellect. Use your study, just like we did with the eight of coins. So what we do with the hanging man in the benefit is chill out, think, think hard and be intellectual about it. And this is where you're going to get your enlightenment. Okay. This is where you're going to tap in to the root of, wow, I haven't done that. You know, what, what's going to happen is you're going to realize that you haven't done anything or, oh my gosh, there's a garage that needs to be cleaned out. Or, oh my gosh. This, I have a friend I that I could ask for a job, etc. By putting yourself and chilling out and being intellectual about it. And <laughs> we got the popus too and the high priestess. So what we say here is with the hanged man and the high priestess is you are going to tap into some things you did not know existed by by putting your putting your brain to work, thinking about where you can go. Again, I definitely think over here, it's around your immediate family and friends. That's always the best place to start to try to find money or try to earn money and stuff like that. So you've got the high priestess here. And um, to me, not panicking and sitting behind the veil of thought and and – Really concentrating, really concentrating on what you can do. Write it on a piece of paper. Write it on a piece of paper. Is money coming? Well, we got the Queen of Wands here. We totally have the Queen of Wands. And to me, she does it in a very, we could probably say an astonishing way because she is the witch of the whole entire deck. So, you know, she can conjure up stuff and, you know, very creative the creative, uh, to me, the most creative, even the way she dresses. Nine of Wands. Money coming in. It's time for perseverance. It's time. One thing we have with the Nine of Wands in this, I again, you have a passion. Always work on your passions to earn more money or start earning money or put it into motion. That's exactly what we have with the Knight of Swords. See, with the nine of wands, it's that it's that next push. You've got to push it again. This is money coming. You push it in. The knight of sword, the knight of swords, 
puts that intellect into action, okay? Everything's telling you to start to work toward your passions, okay? And we have Eight of Swords. Good. So money coming. Why do we have Eight of Swords here? Well, don't start thinking about why you can't, why this won't work, why this didn't work before, why all that stuff. You do not do this at this point. With the Eight of Swords, you start to, you cut, you cut out the blinders, you cut out the chains. No more excuses before you start. No more. That's, this is the only way you're going to break through with that persistence or perseverance with the Nine of Wands. Okay, plus you got that Queen of Wands awesome energy in of just finding things in your creative outlet and jobs, even even working, even at your like at your place of work. There's things you could probably find around there that no one's thought of and you could charge for or you could do it and maybe get some more money. I'm not telling you how to do it. You, you know your situation, but this is what we have here. Now the opportunity, we know it's a stabil it's from stability. Three of Pentacles. Beautiful. This is what we're talking about. When I get the three of pentacles here and the eight of pentacles here, when we have the, the opportunity, it's putting a plan together. Putting a plan together. Oh, I uh I crochet, or I love doing knitting, or I love sewing, or I have this, I like baking cakes. That's what, that's what you, you, I want you to put it on paper, maybe sell it to your friends, maybe sell it to your family. It doesn't have to be a lot, but again, it's starting, it's starting, it's going nine of wands energy, breaking out of that eight of swords. Well, well, you know, no one's going to buy my cakes. That's eight of swords. Get out, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Go with the nine of wands. Go, yeah, I'm going to sell some cakes. You understand what I'm saying? And we've got the king of cups again and the opportunity. We just kind of covered that, didn't we? With the, the King of Cups here would be totally, would have control over the emotion. I'm going to stick with the plan. I'm going to do this. If someone doesn't want to buy my cake, I'm not going to be distressed about it. Someone just didn't want to buy my cake, but someone will buy a cake. See how you can flip into Eight of Swords real quick? I love how the King of Cups is here in the opportunity. It's time for you to rise above and sit above all those doubts you have in this money spread. So with the outcome here, I am going to ask the universe, let's, let's you know, help us out here. Let's, let's get one more card on the outcome and the Hierophant. Now, what do we have here with the Hierophant? Well, one thing I like about the Hierophant, it's, it's major change. You have to make a change, but... Bottom line is you, my friend, have to believe. Now, notice the colors of these cards. Notice how they're almost the same. Isn't that amazing? Kind of looks flamey, kind of looks passionate, right? So with the Hierophant in your outcome is to know because you know, because you know, you can achieve this. Know because you know, because you know. Start on your plan. You've got the three of pentacles here. I'm going to make a blueprint to make money. I'm going to do it in passion. The wands. I'm going to push through nine of wands. I am not going to give up. we got the eight of swords there because I have terrible thoughts. I'm going to control my emotion. King of cups. King of cups. Put it into action. Knight of swords. Queen of swords. I'm going to delegate where I can delegate. Figure stuff out. I'm going to really sit back with the high priestess and the hangman. And I'm going to rest in the fact that I know what I can achieve in life. I know what I can do. Let's clarify one more time. I love the Hierophant. Um, once you make this decision to start to try to make new monies, um, you got to push through it. You've got to do it and, and don't stop. It's a process. I love it. we got the Six of Swords crossing all that. Well, that is telling us right now, if you got to be persistent and you got to persevere and push through right now in your current situation, it could be kind of choppy, but I think you have a great blueprint, three of pentacles here to push yourself through and to start making your finances better. I thank you so much today 
for tuning into self mastery. This was your money spread. And, uh, I want to hear, I want to hear what you do. Thanks a lot. I'm Jay.